I have been up since 5 a.m. folding bread. So this week, a Sleepy Toady presents to you Twix. This last week in cities, I have been working on the Canadian small town, rural city, town, city thing. I uh, did that over a little bit on my live stream. We introduced a mansion up in the mountain where you can spend like Twitch channel points or whatever to kick out whoever was previously in the mansion and you now move into the mansion and it's like a bragging right fun thing. It's actually a lot of fun. And this coming week, I hope to kind of work on detailing that mansion a little bit and make it worth moving into. What have you guys been up to in cities? Any of you guys play with that new mod that was released last week? Let me know in the comments below what you are doing in city skylines. Heading into the workshop, I'm very excited to see plenty of greenery here on the front page. This page highlights bluebells, field grass, and a European holly all by WVNL. The second page shown here features these reeds from Not Done Yet, this Japanese concrete wall blocks from Suginoko, Sujinoko, and stinging nettles from WVNL again. On the last page here, we see WVNL once again bringing us a sweet chestnut tree, another movable Strauss bridge from Epic Lurker, who we featured, I think, a couple weeks ago, and a 7-Eleven from Ronix69 that just feels so familiar. Now, I actually saw this asset in a tweet before I was looking at the workshop, and it prompted me to check out Ronix's Twitter page. Seeing elitist douchebag city skylines asset creator gave me a really good belly laugh and it was a good insight into Ronix's personality. And I also noticed this link, so of course I clicked it and I was brought to this page. Look at this. Ronix has compiled all of this information for you if you are looking to get into creating City Skylines assets. I personally don't understand a lick of it, but I'm sure it's all extremely helpful and uh, really cool of Ronix to be putting this together. I'm gonna put the link to this page in the description. Now let's segue to this guy for the last week in content. Thanks, turd. This week's top upvoted post on Reddit from Jewel VG gave me a good chuckle, and I was sure to give it a thumbs up, just like you should do on this video if you're enjoying it. I also enjoyed this insight into interchange planning from Hey Guys, I'm Charlie. A gorgeous set of roads from L Zoe S C L Z O E S C L Zoe C S C S. And this rural American street from Jambaya looks just like what Toadie is trying to go for in her current city. It looks great. I thought that this downtown building from Mr. Babel on Twitter really suited its surroundings. And Jao Gando on Instagram posted a stunning overhead shot of their city. Big news on YouTube. It's time for a new segment we're gonna call Big Biffa Bulletin. Just kidding. This is a one-time thing, but that was really cool to do that with my voice. This Friday, Biffa tweeted out a link to an unlisted YouTube live stream stating that it was mostly a test. It was short, but fun. It was mostly him working with the intersection marking tool on a roundabout. And I'm curious to see what it's leading into. Scrolling down the YouTube videos, this one by Cold Europe really caught my eye. These graphics are on point. The presentation is clean and I'm very excited to see more. I enjoyed this short teaser and I think you might too. So I'm putting a link to Cold Europe's YouTube channel in the description below. Here at the top of the Twitch live stream list, I certainly recognize a few names and there are lots of great streamers up here. Scrolling down, I found myself stopping at SY Daisy TV's channel. Sci Daisy? SY Daisy is playing on console, which I know that many of you guys do as well, and they are doing work with the Park Life DLC in this live stream. So far, this amusement park seems to be taking a good shape, and I will link this Twitch channel in the description below as well. Turd, all yours. Thanks, guy. Next week, I'm going to be highlighting a cool set of assets that I found in the workshop, but I need some time to tinker with them, so I'm going to do that this upcoming week. And I'll probably be doing that on my live stream on twitch.tv slash so you should probably find me there. This week, though, I'm gonna highlight some of the fun that what I call the Greater City Skylines community on Twitch has. So please, meet Yed. The Yed. Yed. Play Stardew Valley and RimWorld. 
and not city skylines, ever. See Yed's tweet. See all of these replies to Yed's tweet. A bunch of us from the city's community really hopped on this and I spent probably a good hour or so just chuckling at these replies on Twitter. And then see Yed's updated tweet and his updated Twitch bio. I don't really know what I'm trying to say here, but just if you're looking to connect with some people and have like a good time while also enjoying City Skylines and that genre of games, come and find some of us on Twitch. All of those people in the Twitter are good names to click on and find. It's just a really great category to meet people in on Twitch. It's a hoot. Now I'm just gonna scooch down here a little bit and let you guys see this comment from my soulmate golf house. It reads, my favorite chocolate treat is a Snickers, but every Sunday I start my day with a Twix. Smiley face. It took me a whole week to get that joke, golf house. Golf house, you are my daily treat. Thank you. That is it for this week's Twix. On Friday, I posted a video that was me exploring what I wish was City Skylines DLC, a video game called Terra Nil. Check it out in the cards. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll catch you next time.